Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to share with you guys my recent travels to Crete, which is in Greece. We went there for a holiday but of course I had to take my sketchbook and we travelled around the island a little bit and I really just wanted to capture some of the experiences in my sketchbook. We stayed near Malia, which is to the right side of the island, so we were very close to Agios Nikolaos and the island of Spinalonga. The colour of the sea was just so beautiful, it was just like a bright turquoise colour and it was so clear, I couldn't wait to capture that with my paints and I set up on the edge of the harbour. It was really quiet and peaceful and, and it was just the perfect painting conditions. The sun was sparkling on the water and there was that slight breeze to the air that just made you feel so fresh. I wanted my sketches to be very quick and natural and I didn't want to spend too long on them because obviously we had so many places to visit in that day. We stopped by a cafe in Agios Nikolaos and the colour of the ocean, it almost looks like a lake, it's just so bluey green, it was so beautiful and there was people diving off the rocks and it was really fun just to sit there and watch them while we drank a cappuccino. I loved all the little houses and just the subtle colour changes in the buildings and so I really wanted to capture that in my sketchbook. And I will link all the different products I've used in this video in the description box if you want to go and check those out. But first I used a fine liner to really sort of get the bones of the drawing. And it's one of those pens that doesn't run with water so I knew that it wasn't going to go all blurry as soon as I added paint. My aim was to capture the drawing in black and white while I was there and then once I got back to the hotel room I used a photograph I'd taken to really add some of the, the detail with colour um, so I could take my time just a little bit more.
So we hired a car and we travelled around some different little villages and then eventually we drove right up into the mountains and the view was just insanely beautiful. I had no idea that Crete was so mountainous and we stopped for a drink just by this snow-capped mountain and it was just, yeah, it was just so serene. The next day we decided to go to Placa because I was desperate to visit the island of Spinalonga. Spinalonga has so much history to it but I was interested because it used to be a leper colony so when people had leprosy in the area they would ship them off to the island of Spinalonga and that's where they would live for the rest of their life. We climbed on our hands and knees right to the top and the view was just absolutely beautiful, of course. And what I loved was the trees and the flowers. It really created a sense of life amongst the ruins of the buildings. Because we weren't there for very long, I didn't get time to do as many paintings in my sketchbook as I wanted to, so using some photographs, I did some painting once I was back in my studio, so stick around if you want to see that, and at the end I'll also do a tour of every page that I did while I was there. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to join the family, I'll try and put out new videos every week but I want to just thank you all so so much for your support, it really really means the world. I hope you have a beautiful day and enjoy the rest of the video.